Hey there, Sagittarius. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of July 17th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we have coming up for you uh, this week. And yeah, a lot of people have been getting this message about need to take a break, need to take a rest. Some of you might just be going on vacation you know, doing, you know, traveling and things like that. Uh, but you start off with the King of Spades first. Uh, great card of justice. Any of you involved in anything legal? Uh, you know, you could see a lot of justice coming in for you. If you have recently gotten into something legal or like divorce, um, this could represent like a new attorney, like finding somebody who it will do a really great job for you in that, you know, kind of like in that area. Uh, somebody, you know, that can really help you. It could be male or female. So again, don't get caught up on the on the king thing could be either or um, you know the king of spades just represents somebody who's super effective somebody who's really good at what they do it can also represent experts in other areas as well so again if you need help with your finances with your you know with anything you know it could be as simple as even if you just need help with your garden or something like that this can represent you know some sort of expert uh, coming in you know who could really do a great job for you again it's also a great card like you said for um, anything like home renovations um, you know uh, having something done in your home you know anything look for an expert who knows what they're doing somebody with a lot of wisdom and again that this card says you will find that person uh, this week that's at, at least that's a message coming in that's not the typical meaning but uh, next you have the Queen of Hearts uh, opening up to love I think a lot of our people are um, truly opening up to having you know love in their lives at this time so that can be a good thing again it doesn't necessarily represent a relationship although you do have some good love cards here uh, but it does represent, you know, kind of like the ability to uh, open up to it and allow it to come in at this time. It can also be a card of pregnancy. So uh, some of you could be getting pregnant if you want to get pregnant or, um, you know, if you don't, obviously don't, you know, make sure to not let that happen. Um, but uh, it can also represent pregnancy of ideas, you know, any idea you have, any like business ideas you have. Um, you know, to start, you could be kind of like marinating on some ideas and trying to get those things started with this card. Next, you have the Eight of Spades. Again, I feel like some of you might just need to do some zoning out this week. At least, and again, not the typical message with this card, but I just feel like some of you maybe need to do those activities that where, where you can just kind of like leave your head. You know, um, whether that's walking, running, fishing, you know, whatever it is that you do where you can just kind of, you know, totally... Um, leave your head. I think that would be a good idea for you uh, with that with this card. It's kind of it is kind of a card of doing something relaxing um, because again that's where a lot of answers to problems can come to us is when we're not thinking about anything when we're kind of just relaxing and you know kind of dozing off you know daydreaming whatever it, the case may be. So I think you need to allow for some time to do that this week. And also I think that a lot of you could be. It's funny that I said time because I think a lot of you could be thinking about time how you use your time and this is a message that came up last week too for somebody it might have been you um you know thinking about uh how you use your time how you can better use your time and you know or you could be feeling like you're wasting your time and on something or with somebody and now you're kind of trying to figure out uh, you know what you're going to do there next you have the five of hearts card of jealousy so ignore all jealousy that comes in but again it can be a card of pregnancy so you know like i said be careful for those of you that don't want to get pregnant but um and also, again, could just be an idea. You know, it could be a thought. It could be something that you're starting. You could be also, like, working on a project or something that you're treating like a baby. You know, maybe you're kind of, like, raising it up. You're really kind of taking your time with it right now, uh, which would be good. Um, also, on the kind of, this card has another meaning, which could be the birth of a relationship, a new relationship coming in, uh, meeting somebody new uh, that you could have a relationship with, which is good. Next, you have the two of hearts again, finding a perfect match somebody who is really good for you so I feel like for some of you you could be finding a relationship this week um, and then for others this could just be a friend or a situation that makes you really happy getting into some sort of you know some sort of event or something that is really good for you and again this card is um, an interesting card because it is can be a card of learning and it can say if you can go to some sort of event some sort of a learning event some sort of you know conference or something like that uh, this is a great card for doing those types of activities as well and finally you have the ace of spades overcoming you know existing problems being resolved basically overcoming problems and it can also be a card that shows you a problem and you know, sometimes this card is called like the razor. So it can show you a problem and you just cut it right out. You know, you get, you find, finally figure out what, where an issue is, something that you need to get rid of. 
and you're able to remove it and then it like solves all your problems solves some, i'd say all your problems but some of your problems and it helps you uh, move forward great card because it also makes you feel better after as well it's not like you just solve a problem and you know you go on with your day um th this can have like a significant impact on how you feel and uh maybe even the way that you look at a certain situation so a uh, really great card to have but it looks like a great week definitely a weird week weird messages it's been, you know it's been like that for a while so uh something to think about but it looks good so thank you for watching and enjoy your week